Well, hello guys and welcome to Mr. Web Reviews and today I have something quite interesting, especially if you are running an e-commerce website. So if you are using WooCommerce, which is one of the most popular e-commerce plugins for WordPress, then maybe you have noticed that you are quite limited when it comes down to pricing and also the sorts of discount that you can offer. The only options you have available at the moment by default are the regular price, discounted price, and a time period when this discount applies and that's it now what if you want to provide your visitors with a, for instance buy one get one free offer or buy two get the third one half price now what if you want to calculate the price based on roles or even offer tiered pricing for instance so let's say if you buy 10 units you get a certain price if you buy up to 20 units you get another price well, by default in WooCommerce, sadly, you cannot apply any of those rules. Well, good news, today I have you covered. I'm going to show you how you can set dynamic pricing and discount rules. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, guys, and for this, we are going to use Woo Suite. So as you can see here on screen, they specialize in plugins made for WooCommerce. So this is what they do. This is what they specialize in. And as you can see, they have quite a large selection of plugins and they are all focused in adding features to your WooCommerce website and improving the WooCommerce experience. So we have one here that's very popular is the WooCommerce Wholesale Suite, which I will cover in a future video. But today what we are interested in is this plugin here is the dynamic pricing and discount. So let's go to that page now. Now, if we scroll down the page, you will see it is literally packed with features. It is a very, very comprehensive plugin. And what I really like about this one is that you can apply different sets of rules and conditions. As you can see here, you can create multiple conditions for the discount so that means that you can literally create any type of conditions and rules that you want for your website literally any conditions so let's scroll down the page and let's address the price so as you can see over 80,000 stores owners trust Woo Suite for their website which is very good and you can trust them of course you know so the price starts at 99 uh, US dollars for a year so that's for one website right up to 349 depending on the type of access that you want so this is full access obviously you'll get access to all the 14 plugins as well and this is just for one plugin on its own or you can select the plugin with a few additional features as you can see you can get the wholesale sign up form uh, wholesale order form b2b hybrid support and so on and so on so feel free to uh, check this out and then select the plan that suits you best so click on get started purchase the plugin and I'll meet you now in the WordPress dashboard. Okay, so welcome to our WordPress dashboard. So clearly this plugin works with WooCommerce, so make sure that WooCommerce is already installed on your website. As you can see, it installed here on the left-hand side. And also for the sake of our tutorial here, I've uploaded a few sample products as well. As you can see here, we have a few selection. So let me show you now from the front end, this is our products. As you can see, very simple website, nothing too fancy, just to help us uh, to picture and visualize the finished product. So back to our WordPress dashboard. Now we're going to install our plugin. So for this, we're going to plugins, add new, and we're going to upload this manually. So upload plugin and then click on choose file. And from here, you're going to redirect this to the file that you just downloaded from the WeWoosted website. So it should look something like this, something very similar to that. It's an archive file, you know, click open and then click install. And it only take a few seconds. As you can see, it's installed already. And now we need to activate it. Activate plugin. Very good. And now that our plugin is installed and activated, you should be able to see an additional tab on your left hand side here in the menu section called Woo Suite. So what we need to do now, our next step is to insert the license key to activate the whole plugin. So let's click on activate. And normally you should have received this either by email or maybe in your account panel and just copy and paste this license key and paste it here. So just paste it right here and then click activate license. Okay, very good. And now we're going to go to add-ons. So now we need to enable 
the add-ons that we want to use so the dynamic pricing basically so i'll click on add-ons it's going to take a few seconds to load and this is where all the add-ons linked to your account depending on the type of plan that you subscribe to will be listed so the one we're interested in again is the dynamic pricing and discount rule so what we need to do now is to click install now again this is going to take only just a few seconds okay and now you need to enable this so basically you have a toggle switch here it's an it's off at the moment so let's enable this there you go now we have it on and now we can use those features on our website and normally now you should have an additional tab under the woo suite section here called pricing so if you click on this this is going to bring you to this page and from here you can set your rules and there are two different ways to set up rules so you can use this screen here and set your rules right from here at pricing group etc etc or you can do it immediately from the product page itself so let me show you go into the product section let me open this in a new tab so let's open this one for instance personalized mug now if we scroll down the page you'll see in the product data section here we have an additional tab here that's been added pricing discount rules so if we click on this we can also add our pricing group right there so what's the difference between setting up your pricing rules from the product page or from the pricing page? Well, if you set them up from the pricing page, this will apply globally to the whole website. So as you can see, you can apply this to orders, roles, category, and generally speaking, all your products. Or you can apply this to one single product, in which case you will go to the product page itself. Now the features and functionalities are the same, whether you set them up on the single product page or the pricing page. Now let me walk you through the, the options very quickly here. So basically we have the order total and we can add our pricing group. And where will this pricing group apply? It will apply to the cart total or maybe category total. So you have to select either of those two options. And then you're gonna set up who will benefit from this discount, from this rule. Is it the admin, editor, author, or maybe customer? So if it's the customer, select customer and then select the type of rule you're going to apply is it a price discount is it a percentage discount and then you're going to set up maybe which category specific categories you want this rule to apply to so maybe only for mugs and then what type of discount is it is it a price discount a percentage discount so this is how you set up your rules jerry speaking here for a global setting for your whole website from the pricing section now let's go into the product section let me show you we're going to add a pricing group now, as you can see, we're going to select, it's about the same, you know, it's just a lot, it's slightly different. So this pricing group will apply to whom? So everyone, guest or specific roles. So you can select your roles. Again, we said maybe just customers. And then the, is, is it based on product quantity, variation quantity, cart line item quantity, or quantity of category, and so on and so on. And as you can see, all the, these rules are set up here immediately on just the one screen. Whereas from the pricing section, you'll have to go from one tab to the other in order to set up your rules. Very good. So first, let me show you how to set up a rule for one specific product. So let's say we have our personalized mug at the moment. So it's a simple product here. Just one pricing at the moment is $15. That's all. So let's go and set up a few rules regarding this product here. So let's go back to our product page. So I'm going to delete this one for now. We're going to create new rules. So let's start from the beginning. So add new rule. So whom would this apply to? So let's say everyone, guest. So a guest are people that are not logged in yet or specific role. So once they are already logged in, they have to be logged in, obviously, then you can select which role uh, you want to assign them to. So it could be customers, could be shop manager, could be subscribers, and so on and so on. So let's say at the moment we're going to select just all together, all of them, everyone. So we, let's apply this for everyone going to your website, whether they're logged in or not logged in. And then you need to define which type of quantity it is based on. So the first option is product quantity. So basically, let's say if you were to buy five units, you'll get a certain price. If you buy 10 units, it will be a different price. So this is tier pricing, basically. And then we have variation quantity. So let's say if you sell an item in different colors, maybe T-shirts, you might sell them in black, white, red, and blue, let's say. So maybe you want to set this rule only for blue T-shirts. If you buy five blue T-shirts, you get this price. 
and maybe two black ones, you'll get this price and so on. And then we have the card line item quantity. So basically the rule will only apply to the individual card item. And then we have the quantity of categories. So here you can select and choose specific categories you want to apply those rules to. Okay, so let's keep it simple for now. Uh, let's select product quantity. And then next we have the rule processing mode. And we can select among two different options here. We have bulk or special offer. So what's the difference between the two? So bulk, basically, you have to set up a minimum in a maximum quantity so maybe from 1 to 10 you get a certain price from 11 to 20 you get another price and so on and so on whereas if you select special offer as you can see you purchase a certain amount and you receive a different amount so you might purchase three and you get five so you get two for free or something similar to this okay let's go with bulk for now and then if this rule only applies to a specific period of time, maybe from the start of the month until the end of the month, you can do this using the dates here. So from and to. Now let's set up our pricing rules now. So we have the minimum quantity and maximum quantity. So the regular price of this product is 15 US dollars. Now let's set up a specific rule, a specific discount rule. So let's say if someone buys at least 10 of them mugs, up until maybe 20 of them the, what sort of discount will you give them so it's 15 us dollars normally so is it a price discount so if it's a price discount it's a fixed price so it could be two dollars fifty discount so instead of fifteen dollars it'll be twelve dollars fifty or is it a percentage discount in which case you put the percentage here so if you buy between 10 up to 20 you get five percent discount or is it a fixed price? In which case, instead of 15 US dollars, how much will it be? Then you can put here, it will be 1250. Okay, so this is basically how the rule works. Now let's add another one. You can add tier pricing. So let's say from 21 right up to 50, you can set another rule. So let's go here with a percentage discount. And let's say we get 5% discount from 10 to 20. Now from 21 to 50, we get a different percentage discount. We get 10% discount to incentivize your buyers, obviously, you know, customers. So we can add another one, maybe from 50 right up to 100, we get maybe 15% discount. And then the last one, 101, oh yeah, sorry, it should be 51 here. From 101 up until as many as they want then you put an asterisk here that means whatever quantity over 101 maybe you get 20 percent discount okay so this is our rule now set up so we're going to save the product now update now let's go back to our front end so this is the page how it used to look like a product page now if we refresh now we have a very nice pricing table. As you can see, it's easy for the visitor to see the price breakdown and all the different discounts that are being offered. So it's very, very easy for customers to have a quick overview of what they have to buy and what type of discount is available. So let's put this to the test. So let's say we're gonna order maybe, let's put 25 of them. So 25, we should get 10% uh, discount. So let's add to the cart. Okay, and then view cart. And as you can see, the regular price is normally $15 and now it's down to $13.50. So that's basically 10% discount. Exactly. It's $1.5 uh, discount. Very good. Very good. So this is how it works. So let's go back to our product page now. Okay. So let's set up a buy three, get one free, for instance. Okay. So for this, we go back to our rules and this time instead of bulk, it will be special offer. So we purchase three, we receive one. And what type of price discount is this? It will be a percentage discount of 100%. So that means that the, the, the additional one that you're gonna get here will be 100% free. So let's see, this is how it works, okay? Either that, or you can set a price discount. So since the mug is $15, you get one $15 cheaper than the others. So this one will be free basically, okay? So let's go ahead with this. So let's update. Let's go back to our product page. Let's refresh. And as you can see, buy three, get one more discounted. And this one is 15% discount per item. So let's buy four of them. Let's add to cart and then view cart. 
And there you go. As you can see, our total here is $45, even though we purchased four of them. So it should normally be $60, which means that we got one for free. So three times 15 is 45 US dollars. Now, if we increase this, let's say if we were to buy seven of them, normally we should get two of them for free. Let's click on seven, update card. And as you can see, we are not getting the same price. Even if I go up to eight, as you can see, it keeps increasing the prices incrementally. And the reason is because if you go back to the, the back end here to our product page, you can see we have a column here that says repeating. So if it's on no at the moment, so that means the offer is only valid once. So if you order one quantity of three, you get one for free. Now, if you want to apply this to more quantities for every three mugs purchased, you get one for free, then you have to select yes right here. So let's click on that, click update. And now if I refresh the shopping cart here, as you can see, even if you buy eight of them, it'll only be $90 instead of 105. Okay, now let me show you the variations. So we're gonna open a new product now. Let's go all products. And I have created a product here called printed t-shirts multicolor. So that t-shirt is a variable product. And as you can see, I'm gonna show you the different variations. So this one comes in different colors. So we have black, white, red, and blue. And then we have different sizes. We have small, medium, large, extra large, and double XL. So here we can set up different pricing rules as well based on variation. So let's go ahead with this now. So we add our pricing group. So let's apply this to everyone for now. It's just simpler. And we're gonna select the quantity uh, type. So this is a variation quantity. Very good. So we're going to apply this to which type of variations you can select all variations. So that's throughout all the variations, basically all specific variations. So let's say if you wanted to apply this only to red T-shirts or only black T-shirts, for instance, then you can select the variations uh, that you want to apply it to. OK, so from here you can see with all our variations listed. So we have black in small, black in medium, black in large, and then you have the same for white, red, blue and yellow. So now if, let's say if you wanted to apply this rule only for black t-shirts. So what you do basically is to take all the black t-shirts. So let's do this together now very quickly, just like that. So we have all the black in different sizes. Very good. So now what are the rules that you want to apply in this instance for all the black t-shirts? What's the offer? What's the discount that you're going to offer? And then again, you can select bulk or special offer. So let's keep it bulk for now. So let's set up our rule now. So let's say if someone was to buy any size black t-shirt, let's say if they buy five of them, they'll get a special price. So our price here is $20. So let's say if you were to buy five up until whatever quantity, over five, anything over, over five, you'll give them a fixed price of $11.95, for instance. Okay, so this would be our rule. So instead of $20, it's $11.95. If you, five, if you buy five, black t-shirt any size all right so let's do this so let's click update so let's put this to the test and let's go to our product page and let's start by adding maybe five red t-shirts so we're going to select red let's select medium maybe and let's add six of them okay so let's go to the shopping cart and see what happens and as you can see they are 20 dollars each because this is red and the rule was set for black ones so we go back to our product page. Now let's add black ones. So we're gonna select medium again, and let's add maybe six of them. So six, now let's add five, because it has to be five or more. This is the rule that we set. And as you can see, because we have five of them, which is inclusive, we get to enjoy our special discounted price of $11.95, very good. So now if we were to add only four of them, let me change the quantity. This is the normal price because the rule is set from five and over. Okay, very good. Okay, so now one last thing related to this single product page, you can set up different rules of your know. So we set up this pricing group here. This is one of them, but you can add more than one. Obviously you can combine different rules as well. So if you wanted to do this, maybe for black t-shirt, a specific price, for yellow t-shirt, another price, and so on and so on. All you have to do is add pricing group and do the same again. So maybe you have a similar rule. It's very similar like this one. You can just duplicate it. And now you can easily tweak this rule 
to fit your own requirements without having to recreate everything all at once. Very good. So this is for the single page product rule. Now let's go back to our pricing page right here. And let me show you how can, you can set up rules that will apply globally to the whole website. Okay, so from here, basically, this is the same principle as on our single page. We click on add pricing group to set up our rules. So from here, basically, our first option is to define uh, based on what we're going to apply this discount. Is it based on the card total or the category total? So we didn't have those options from the product page. Now we can use these because these are rules that we're going to set up for the whole website. So it's a global a set of rules now so we're going to click on card total so card total basically you can set up a specific rule if uh, for instance your visitors will spend at least 100 dollars if they spend at least 100 dollars they will get such and such amount of discount and so on so let me show you how this works and again you can define to whom this applies so either everyone guest or maybe specific roles like we've shown before and you have a uh, from and to as well uh, date field as well you can select if you want to limit that to a specific period in time so let's go with a minimum order so let's say you need to spend at least 150 dollars and spend a maximum of maybe 200 let's say 500 up to 500 then you get 10 percent discount and let's go from 501 up to whatever over that and then you get 15% discount. So this is a nice incentive. So let's save this. Okay, so let's put this to the test. So let's go to our product section here in our front end and find a product that we haven't set any rules uh, for yet. So we've done this one and this one. So why not go for this t-shirt here at $25? And as you can see, we have our overview here of the type of discount we can expect. Very nice. So we said that we need to spend at least $150 to uh, avail of the 10% discount. So we had $25, so that's at least six units. So let's add maybe eight of them. So add to cart, view cart. And as you can see, we are getting 10% discount because it's normally $25 and it's down to $22.50. So we save $2.50 per t-shirt. So now let's try and see we set over 500 now in spending. So let's go for 25 t-shirts at $25. Let's update. And as you can see, our price has dropped again from $22.50 to $21.25. So very good. So this is how this works. So let's go back to our rules here. Okay, so now let's set up a rule based on roles. So as you can see, the role pricing allows you to configure price adjustments for the entire store again based on a user's role so basically here i'm logged in as an admin so i'll have to uh, use the admin section here but feel free to use any of those roles if you want to limit this to maybe your customers or maybe subscribers and so on just enable and toggle this switch here so i'm going to enable this for the admin and then we're going to set maybe a percentage discount so let's go maybe with a 50 percent discount all together and let's put this to the test so now we go back to our uh, shopping cart now then we're going to refresh this page. And as you can see now, I'm getting a 50% discount. Why? Because I am logged in as an admin. This is my role. So I'm getting 50% 50, 50 discount. Very good. Very easy, isn't it? So you can feel free to do this for any of those users and you can set up different rules as well. So we've selected here percentage discount. It could also be a price discount altogether. So next we have category. So basically the principle is the exact same as the other two tabs here, except that this is based on category, obviously. So to enable this, enable the category you want to apply the discount, just use this toggle switch here. So let's apply this to our t-shirt. And then again, we can select the type of discount we want to apply. So let's go for a percentage discount and let's go again, maybe for 50%. So we can save this now. And if we go back to our shopping cart and refresh our page, we are also getting a 50% discount. So it's very easy to use, guys, as you can see, you know. All right, guys, that's all for today. As always, I'll leave all the links in the description below. And if you have any questions, feel free to post that in the comment section as well. I hope you found this helpful. If so, please consider giving me a thumbs up. That will greatly help grow this channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.